Hey guys, it's Matt from GI Energy. We're out in an installation today of a 48 kilowatt hour SIG Energy battery with a 20 kilowatt solar array. Behind me, we've got the battery that's shortly going to be commissioned. Six, eight kilowatt hour modules to take it to the full 48 kilowatt hour stack to maximize the federal subsidy that's available. We've also got the SIG Energy Gateway, which controls all the monitoring for the home, full backup power. And in this case here, we've actually got a third party EV charger that we've incorporated into the system so that it can run from surplus solar when available. So with the backup, we've got the three phase SIG Energy Gateway here. Open it up at the side. We've got the bypass switch. So if there's ever a failure there, you can flick that and go back to grid power. We've got the inverters here. So you can actually have two inverters installed with a single gateway. If you've got a really large energy draw and you need a massive system, we've got the backup circuit. This is the thing that everyone loves about the SIG Energy. Full backup. This is a three phase site here. So everything in the house will be on backup. We'll do a simulation later where we can see everything. We've also got the smart port. The smart port's where you can wire in a circuit. And in this case, we've done the EV charger because it's a third party, different brand. We can bring that into the system to provide full control through the app so the system can be charging the battery from surplus solar when it's available. So here we are with the SIG Energy stack behind me. We've got 48 kilowatt hours of storage. We've got the controller on top here, which all of the panels go into. And then we've got six, eight kilowatt hour modules. We've done a bunch of videos on SIG Energy and obviously all the positives and great features about the product. But just quickly, the density of the battery, 48 kilowatt hours in a single stack makes it really easy to install. Obviously, if you're short of space, where the battery can go with regulations and other things makes it really, really easy to install and obviously find a spot for. The safety of the battery with the temperature sensors, everything else that's built in there makes it the safest battery on the market that we can find. The flexibility of the design with the inputs and obviously the main thing that a lot of people love about it is the full backup. Hi, my name is Ivan. I work for GI Energy. I've been working in solar for the past seven, eight years. This is my home and I've chosen to use SIG Energy for my home. I've done so much research about solar and um, obviously being in the industry, I've decided to go with SIG because the way it's built, it is five in one, it's, it's modular, it is slim line, it's, it's all in one. Nice to look at, it looks nice in the house also, right? I've been paying roughly about $1,800 per quarter for my electricity bills for the past two quarters. I've gone for the bigger system. I know for a fact that it will help the bill considerably. I have a Gini EX5, which is an electric car. They have given me a charger. Right? So, which I've installed together with the SIG Energy system. And the good thing about SIG Energy is that on my app, I'll be able to still see what's going on with my Geely charger. So now we're going to simulate a grid outage by turning off the main switch and let's see what happens. So there's no dim in the lights. You heard the noise come from the gateway for the house to flick over to backup. And if we look on your phone, You've moved into off-grid mode and it will give you, on here right now, it says we've got 11, 11 and a half hours with 40% of the battery remaining. So on the SIG Energy controller, there's five different lights that are on here. So solar being generated, Wi-Fi connected at the top, grid power connected. This bottom left one here is flashing blue right now, which means that the battery is discharging because the home is consuming more power than the solar is generating. It'll be green if the battery is charging with excess solar available. This right one here that isn't lit is for the DC integrated charger, which isn't included in this stack. So if you have that, that would be showing here. So we've just turned grid power off. The lights didn't flicker. Nothing else happened here, except this change to the blue color to let us know that we're in backup mode. So we're back in the office now. Ivan's system has been installed for nearly six weeks. So let's have a look how it's going. So we're looking at this late afternoon, nearly 3.30 here, generating just over eight kilowatts from his 19 kilowatts of panels there. His home right now is consuming four kilowatts and battery is completely full with the excess power going into the grid. If we have a look at the energy balance, so today's been a pretty nice day, generated 84 kilowatt hours. Of that, 78% has been used directly, so nearly 66 kilowatt hours. And more importantly, on the consumption side, 
Overall 47 kilowatt hours has been consumed on site and 99.85% um, self-sufficient, which is pretty awesome. If we go to the lifetime, so when was it, end of September, 96% self-sufficient and um, over 3.3 megawatt hours of solar generated in about six weeks. Pretty amazing. It tells me he's pretty thrilled with the system most days. He's got it pulled up on his screen that he's having a look at. So yeah, another great SIG Energy installation.